Hello, I want to show you something about paint effects today and just a brief reminder, this is Duncan Brinsmead, he invented the paint effects. I took this photo when I met him for an afternoon in Toronto uh, a couple of years ago in 2013. And actually you can use this uh, photograph in any kind of context, you only need to mention my name. It's uh, totally uncommercial because it's in the Wikipedia uh, realm now. And this is the article about Duncan Brinsmead, the inventor of paint effects and many other things here in Wikipedia. Okay, um, I want to create a, well, uh, a hybrid between a leaf and a tree. How do we go about this? We go to modeling generate and now we get a brush it's right here generate get brush it always starts with this boring airbrush folder here because it's a we need to go down to t for trees and just click once on the birch blowing and we can uh, plant the birch now right here uh, actually when we make the stroke too long I do this. Uh, the birch just uh, we, we create several birches. It's very nice, random birches. It's a, it's an excellent idea, really. Uh, I press and hold B now and scale it up, and just a brief stroke here. I hope this birch tree is is okay. Yes, it is. Okay. Now, next thing uh, I want a feather, which is under F, flowers, feathers, right here, and for example, feather exotic large. Now I can close this window and I paint the feather here. I guess it's going to be very small. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. I have two things now. And here they are, a feather and a tree. Now, um, uh, they look beautiful and they render just within a second using the Maya renderer. They don't render at all in Arnold. You have to convert them into polygons, which is pretty trivial and not issue of this um, tutorial here. I just want to compare uh, the two attribute editors and uh, you do this uh, in this way. It's rarely used and it's so effective really. I click on one of the objects, uh, in this case the birch tree, and here I have the attribute editor for the birch tree blowing as it's called, and I copy that tab. And I move it to the left because I have the birch tree on the left. And I do the same with the leaf here. I have the stroke, shape, feather, exotic large here. I copy that tab and move it over here. And you can compare both of them. Uh, for example, the seed of the tree is different. It's The seed is one here and the seed is two here for, for the feather. So if we increase this to two, we get a different shape. And there are hundreds of values which you can uh, adjust here. Uh, we don't want to do this, I just want to point you there. Open the pressure mappings and uh, on this side too and here you see lots of different things. Transparency, scale and off. Here we have scale, tube length and turbulence. If you adapt, uh, if you copy the, the values from left to right or right to left, uh, you eventually get um, the make convert the tree into uh, a feather. Uh, the pressure curves here. You have uh, the these values here, which are quite different as well, and uh, they have a drastic effect on the uh, on the shape of that object. So I select the feather, and uh, here I have this stroke shape of the feather, and I go to presets, and I save that preset. It's out of the recording area right now, but it's it reads save stroke preset. That's what I'm going to do. And I just leave the uh, suggested name as it is, and I save that attribute for the feather. And now I go here and go to presets again. And here I have uh, the stroke shape feather. You don't see it properly, but you can trust me, it's stroke shape feather exotic large one and I can for example blend the tree into that value here so the tree gets bigger in this case and it changes shape it gets flatter down here as you can see um, we, we of course we can scale it down um, 
Now let's go back to the to the feather and instead of the shape uh, we select the exotic large without the shape here lots of values here and we do the same thing presets and we save the brush preset for the feather and now we select the tree and we apply the feather well 90% for example that was a little bit too much I undo this so I go to presets again and I blend it 50% and now you have kind of the tree turns into the feather. And that's basically all I wanted to show you. Yeah, I think you can create odd, odd objects using this procedure here, using the presets. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.